it looks like they abandoned the plan of uh, basically capturing the big cities and they're just trying to push it to Kiev and capture the president and most likely assassinate him and to install a new government. And they do believe that, you know, assassinating Zelensky will actually change the perspective or the narrative of the resistance in Ukraine. I don't know. I'm just shocked that the world is standing by. They cannot even cut them out of the SWIFT code, which is not even going to damage that hard Russia. And it's not that hard to do. And you, Europe cannot even do that. They cannot even close our airspace. So the airships would not attack us from the air. So that our troops would have a fighting chance to actually defend ourselves. There's not much need to be done. The biggest problem is that once they capture Ukraine, who is going to be next? You still have family there. Your mum's there. I think your brother's there. Have you spoken to them? What are they doing? Are they hiding? I mean, what are they doing to stay safe? My father is a professor of urology. <laughs> so he does what he does. He goes to work. Same as my brother. So they're trying to carry on. It's okay. Take your time. If you could get back and you had to, would you fight? Of course I would. That's the only reason I'm coming back. You would fight, even though you're a tennis player? The army opened up the reserves and everybody who's willing to fight uh, to come in and collect the weapons and to be part of the territorial resistance. There's plenty of people in them. Uh, I've actually signed up for reserves uh, last week. I left here on Saturday. I just didn't have the enough documents to sign the contract. There's going to be a lot of support for Ukraine. Um, in football, you know, this weekend, it's been approved that if players, managers want to show the Ukrainian flag, they can. Um, does, does that make any difference? It makes a world of difference to our arms forces, I would say, seeing that they're not left alone, at least yeah. in the media environment, but let's be realistic here. Yeah. It's been eight years of the war since it was Russia, whether it was Russia proxies or Russia itself, it doesn't matter. Where was all of this for the eight years? None of us believe that it's going to happen. And yet it happened, and none of them, I mean the European leaders, or the world is ready to act ready to help, ready to put the fight in Ukraine for maybe a better Europe in the future. We want to be a normal, civilized country with democracy where you can actually elect your president. Mm -hmm. And as far as I can go, I can say that today, the president we have is most likely the only president which we ever had in terms of standing for his country and believing in what he does and risking his own life. The only one. All of them before, were just a political jokes. They were political jokes. He may be a comedian in life, but he's become a president for people.